Okay, this series of videos is going to look at a few of the modified tools within Revit. Um, these are very, very important tools and you can use them for 3D elements as well as line work um, and uh, really pretty much anything that you come across in Revit. So we're going to go up here to the Modify tab and you can see the first one we're going to look at is Move. So the shortcut for this is MV. Now I suggest you write down a few of these shortcuts because um, they, they're very important for um, sort of efficiency of, of working with the project. So let me click on this wall and let's say that we wanted to move this wall. Um, so we can either click uh, the move tool up in the ribbon bar or I can press MV. Um, now what this does is Revit allows you to specify a base point from where you're moving your wall. So if I knew that I wanted to move it, see, you can see my wall selected, but if I wanted to move it from you know, exactly this distance here, I just click once in the corner and then move it across to the next one. Now it's going to give me a warning and say that my door, uh, the insert conflicts with the door join. That's fine, I'm just going to click on that door and remove it for now. So what you can see is that when I did move that wall, um, MV, Revit's quite intelligent and actually brings all the elements along with it and also cleans up the intersected joints. Um, another thing that you can do with the move tool, MV, is let's say I, I wanted to move the wall an exact distance. So I'd, I'd click anywhere on the page start to move in the direction I wanted to move and then I can type in the distance that I want that wall to move so 800 enter and there we go it's moved my wall for me